up YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite today, and this is my latest Cherry Shop haul. <laughs> What up YouTube? How you doing? It's me, it's me, it's your favourite today. Um, yeah, this is my charity shop haul from yesterday when I went to Dudley. Went to Dudley, it's about half an hour down the road for me in the old talk like this. Um, yeah, you'd probably say I say like that but I don't. You'd be wrong. Um, yeah, uh, Dudley was fantastic. I could have got a lot more. Um, if I had the time, but I had to pick the kids up, um, yeah, I had to pick the kids up, uh, uh, well, I had to get back into Wolverhampton for about half to, so I wanted to aim to get back into Wolverhampton around one o'clock, just in case there was any delays, um, but if you've never been, if anybody's local to my area, check out Dudley, um, I'm definitely going to go back next week maybe, but I have just coughed out 70 quid to um, go and kick um, Carla's arse um, at arm wrestling. So, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm a bit broke at the minute until um, my sales start coming in. But, uh, yeah, there was quite a few shops, like good quality stuff as well. Um, I just didn't really have time to be faffing around on my phone looking up stuff. But there was one big shop which I was a little bit overwhelmed in, to be fair. Um, they said it had opened in February, it's right at the end of the high street, it's literally the last shop at the end of the high street before, um, I think there's an all you can eat buffet thing at the end, I think, um, but it was like a Christian charity shop, it was, it's a big shop, um, you wouldn't really notice it was a charity shop, it was just that I was googling charity shops, and it's a pretty big shop and they haven't clicked on yet onto pricing stuff and what they actually have <laughs> um, they've just got a lot of stuff in there and the prices are pretty low so if you are in the Dudley area I'll go and check that out um, it's the Emporium, Emporium or something like that <clears throat> anyway um, let's go through what I got, what I paid what I hope to get back and yeah that's about it are you so right, first of all, um, this ship in a bottle thingamajig, um, I've had two of these before, um, one of them actually broke, so I've had one, I've sold one of these before um, for about 30 quid, but it's a bigger version of it, um, this is the Portuguese Man O War, oh, I don't know, I know nothing about ships, um, but uh, yeah, this this confusing on what it actually cost me, now what I got from that shop was that, that, the denim, and that. Um, and then it come to 13 quid in total, and now that costs a fiver. So, that costs a fiver, 13. So it's up to eight. So I'll say, I'll say the denim jacket cost me three, this cost me three, and the clock cost me two. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, this cost me three quid, and, and I'm going to shoot for 20 on that. Um, next, we're adding to Teapot Corner. Teapot Corner's making a big, massive comeback here. Um, this is... I've picked this stuff up before. There's a few chips. If you can see, there's a chip in the milk jug. There's also a chip in the top of the teapot. Um, this is Ironstone. English Ironstone tableware. Old Willow. Um, I think this is an old design. Now, don't be wrong, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So don't listen to my, don't listen to my advice. But from my experience, this is an old design. Um, I've picked up Old Willow, and there is, I think it's real Old Willow, which is a newer version that has a gold guild. Um, obviously, this hasn't got a gold guild. It looks pretty old. Um, I don't think it's got a year on. No, but um, yeah. It's it's hard to price it up. The prices have gone that pretty down on it, to be fair. Um, but altogether, this cost me a fiver. Um, because of the chippings, I'm probably going to go around for about twenty eight quid because of the chippings. But I would have gone for thirty if everything was all right. I think they're all right. These look look like um, what's it called? What's that? 
Japanese shop thing from back in the diddle. I can't remember what it's called. Yaki? Is it Yaki? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, that cost me a five. I'm going to shoot for 28 on that. Um, next is this quartz travel alarm. I don't know what these are. They're kind of going to like a pocket thing and it fits in your pocket. Um, I've got one of these upstairs which I haven't tested because I couldn't be bothered. Um, but I do need to test it. That is actually the right time. Um, I found out yesterday that the alarm is set for about one in the afternoon. I was um, just sitting here thinking that I was having a heart attack or something. So I was like, what, what's that alarm? And I couldn't work out what the fucking alarm was and then realised it was that clock. Um, but again, I think I said this cost me two. Uh, this cost me two. I'm only going to get about a tenner back on this. I thought I'd get more. But yeah, two into a tenner. Go on, order the clothing. Next was this... I need to stop picking up denim jackets, to be fair. Because um, none of them are going anywhere. Um, yeah, this is a Lee Cooper denim jacket. Uh, size medium. Cost me three. Should get about 15 back on that. But they are going as low as £5. And all and stuff like that. So, yeah, should get about 15 on that. Um, again, second time in the last two charity shop hauls. Um, this cost me a fiver, as you can see, four ninety nine. Um, gonna shoot for twenty five. Gonna shoot for twenty five on that because it's a smaller basket. They don't really put measurements on eBay um, for what the baskets go, so I'm gonna have to measure it. But it is kind of a different design. It makes me think it's fake um, because most of the designs have got belts on, like leather buckles. That hasn't got a leather buckle. I'll show you how it opens. This opens kind of so that opens like that, which yeah makes me makes me feel like a fake or is it just unique? But I'm gonna shoot for twenty five. Shoot for twenty five on that bad boy. Next, a coffee grinder. A little bit disappointed with this. If you've noticed on the floor, there's black bits all over the floor. It was full of coffee. Um, and I found out this morning when I took it out of the bag and I started shaking it about, there was just coffee everywhere. Coffee beans everywhere. Um, it's not in the best condition, really shouldn't have picked it up to be fair. Um, the handle, the handle is actually in there. There's a little green, you can see it, tidy. There you go. So the little green handle bit that should go on the top is in there. As you can see, it's got a bit of markings down the side it's a david birch design which i've sold before for about 20 15 to 20 quid if you don't know how these work you just put the coffee beans in there and it rounds them up and then the coffee comes out that little drawer at the bottom and um, obviously the design's vintage but this isn't vintage it's like new vintage go on i'll make that up yeah it's new vintage <laughs> but uh that cost me 2.99 i'm gonna go for a tenner just to get rid of it because it's you know, they're going for about 15 or 20 and this is in pretty crap, pretty, bleh, pretty crap condition. And the handle's missing. So, yeah. I'm going to go for all this one's coming out. So I'm going to go for a tenner on that. That cost me 2 99 Oh, I forgot this jacket. <clears throat> Next, another blazer. Um, it is a Hempthworth's, a Hardy Amy's design. Uh, this cost me a fiver. Um, I'm not sure what the pattern is. I'm not really good with the patterns. Maybe I need to do a little bit more research on what patterns and stuff. But going by just looking for this kind of pattern on eBay, uh, they go for about 40. So 40 quid on that for my father. Next, um, I was surprised with these. I went into a Bernardo shop. Um, now actually, if anybody's in the Dudley area, you might want to pick these up. I didn't want to take the risk. It was a lot of money to invest. But someone had gone into the Bernardo shop in Dudley with size 17 feet um, and this got nothing to do with these boots but I was obsessed with uh, I could, probably could have got more in that Bernardo shop but I was obsessed with these size 17 trainers that were floating around so there was two lots of Air Jordans in there and a pair of Reebok DMX um, red and blue kind of basketball trainers it, it, I can't explain exactly how they look, but you, you can tell the design. They just look like basketball trainers, like really thick. Um, but the, all three of them, £25 each, I couldn't really gauge a price. And they weren't in the best condition, but 
yeah, if anybody's in that Dudley area and they've got a spare 75 quid, you'd probably make it. I think the other thing I was thinking, the amount of room I've got in the loft at the minute, I'm going to be sitting on them traders waiting for someone with a size 17 foot to come and buy these Jordans, which I'm going to try and shoot for a high price because I've paid 25 quid and I was just like, no, don't do it. So these were next to them. Um, and I picked it, these MBT snow boots. Uh, they cost me a tenner. If you can see the curvature, the curvature, the curvature, I sound like gold member of Austin Paris. Curvature. Stout, stout like a pancake. Um, MBT, sorry if I insult any Dutch people, it's meant to be Dutch. Um, MBT snow boots. You can see the curvature of the boot. Um, it was hard to get a price on these. Some have sold for stupid money, like 60, 70. Some have sold for a fiver, as it always is. So I'm going to shoot for 40. They cost me a tenner. And Teapot Corner has got another Saddler. Saddler! There we go. Saddler in the... Oh, shit. Um, that cost me 5 99 That cost me 3 99 Um Someone's shooting for 45 on bids for just that teapot. Um, I'm going to shoot for 45 with the two. Feck it. It cost me about a tenner altogether. So, yeah, that is my plan. So, yeah, that was my charity shop haul from Dudley yesterday. To be fair, I thought it was better than it actually is. Maybe it's not. Um, I kind of hyped it up on my thing yesterday, but I think it was because... There was just, there was a lot of, when I was walking around, there was a lot of stuff. If I had time, if I had the whole day to myself, I could have picked up and I could have um, took advantage of. But yeah, it's one of them. But for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. That was my charity shop haul from Dudley. Dudley in the West Midlands, the home of Lenny and Ray. Sorry for letting anybody from Dudley and I offend. Peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Hashtag Team Stay. Hashtag Carla's getting her ass whooped. Hashtag You're going down. Peace out. Stay safe. Stay beautiful. Hope this haul helped. Bye bye.